Hey everybody, welcome to my comparison video on the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 and the Speedy 30 in the bandolier. Let's get started. I know that this is not the same exact style because it's full leather, but the proportions are virtually the same. There's only one or two key differences with a full leather Speedy and the canvas Speedy. So I will show you those in a second. I've just put some things in these bags so they're a bit substantial. So in terms of size, you can see the 30 is a bit bigger in height and obviously it's a five centimeters wider, which you can barely notice me. It's, I mean, I think you get more space in the height and the width a bit wider. Well, and oh, this has got heavy stuff in it, so it's heavy. You know what? I think the handle drop is bigger on my bag. But yeah, so the handle on this one has a bit more space. Isn't that interesting? I had no idea. My mum's wallet is so heavy. So this is my mum's Speedy 30. I used to have a Speedy 30, but I didn't have the bandolier on mine. It was an original without the bandolier, and they didn't have bandoliers available when I bought mine. So I loved it. It was my first Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> anyway, I sold that, and I really regret it to this day. So now I have a 25, and reasoning behind me getting this bag, it's not that important to you, but I, for, for context, I had a Pochette Matisse, and I love this bag, and I use it all the time. However, you can't really fit a water bottle in here and sometimes if I want to take a water bottle with me wherever I'm going, which is most of the time, it doesn't fit. So I decided to get a similar size bag, but with a bit more space. Q Speedy. Aside from the obvious differences of canvas versus leather and then the leather patina calf leather strap and, and what's this called? The shoulder strap is a bit longer on the 25. Yeah, it's a bit longer. And I think they're both on the shortest. No. Okay, so this one's not even on, the, this is not on the shortest strap. So if you wanna get a bag that's got not as long shoulder strap, I actually don't recommend the 25 because this is long and this is on the shortest hole. Yes, you could punch some holes in it yourself, which I have considered doing, but if you like to have your bag and use it multiple ways all the time. And this is sort of dangles. It does this all the time because of the leather. It's nice and soft. It's just really long. <sighs> oh, it's really long. See the strap on this one? God, could you be more annoying? Like why? The other difference would be price, but you can buy these pre-loved. I got mine from Fashion File a few years ago. And this is the cherry. 2017. It keeps focusing on the cat. So annoying. So anyway, I'm not going to do anything beyond that in terms of details because I've already done a review of this bag. So check that out. I think they're beautiful. I really do. It was under a thousand dollars when I got my Speedy and now they're, what are they, like two plus. Anyway, <laughs> this is mum's 30 bandolier. And I think she's had this 12 months, maybe 18. I'm not sure. It was purchased in Sydney, Bondi Junction. Not that that's really that important, but it's now got a zip. This used to be open. It never used to have a zip in it. So this has got a zip pocket. It's like a one that they have in the key balls. And then it's got the D-ring, just like the key ball on the inside. Just here. It does come with a lock. My mum doesn't keep her lock on her bag. So this is the opening mum's bag so we've got the zips all the way open on this bag and when you go to open it to put stuff inside this is the opening you get it's not a lot opening here opening there see the difference look how much space I can how much like wiggle room I have and this is in a smaller size bag so you can imagine the 25 in the canvas and how much smaller, I'll show you what it could be like. A 25 canvas, 30, 25. I'm not doing a very good job, sorry. I'll just do basically a quick what fits inside comparison. 
what I'll do is I will pack this bag out fully and then we'll see if I can fit the same amount or more or less in the bigger bag. I'm gonna put an iPad in. This is an iPad Air, Gen, whatever. I took the case off. I have a magic keyboard, so whatever you call this. So this makes it a little bit bigger. So I'm actually gonna take this off because not everyone has one of these. I'm actually gonna put in my agenda. This is just my desk agenda. It's a GM size agenda, sim similar to the GM agenda with the binder inside and the clasp. So I'll put that in as well. I'm then gonna put in a cosmetic case. I'm gonna put in my woody glasses case, my key clay umbrella. This is pretty full, very packed, packed in. I could probably fit one other tiny thing in here, maybe like, I mean, imagine that there's stuff, I do have stuff in this zip pocket inside, which I didn't show you, but there's a zip pocket in here. I've got stuff in there right now, but I haven't got anything in the other side, the interior pockets, which are like, there's two. So imagine that you've got an iPhone in here, like it's, there's still heaps of space, right? So that's probably as far as I would go. Could also fit a drink bottle. If I took out probably like the agenda and the iPad, this would fit in easily. This is just like a 500, 650 mil something or other sparkly drink bottle. Link is down below. <laughs> that is all I can get in the 25. And the fact that I've got the zips coming down onto the side of the bag is one of the biggest pluses of having the leather version of the Speedy. So getting in an iPad in a 25, I'm not sure if it would be achievable actually, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be able to get in everything like this that I've got in here, because I've got like my agenda goes right to the edges. If it was that full and you managed to get it in, it's really hard to get past what's in the top because of the zip uh, restriction. So that is why I got one of these. Let's see if I can get the same easily. I have to angle it in, and this is the 30, obviously. So let's do the same with the iPad. Protect my iPad. But I've got a wallet here. This is my mum's wallet. This is her atrociously aged, what's this called? Mini monogram. It was, it's like a canvas, look at it. So it's added so far a wallet, a big zippy wallet. Okay. Other annoying thing about this version is there aren't any interior pockets like there is in the 25. So if I was to put anything small in this bag, I just use these. It's a bit easier when it's full to find things. Umbrella, oh my gosh, it actually does have a lot of space in this bag. I forgot. Let's do another cosmetic bag. I have to keep covering my cat because the autofocus keeps looking at my cat when. <laughs> anyway, we'll put another one of these in. So far, this is heavy, but very full. Actually, quite flat on the bottom. You could probably use a bag organizer for this, but you might not get as much inside. I'll just show you the interior with its choppers. There's a lot of space still in here. I'm gonna put in a drink bottle just to show you. And that's probably as far as I would go. So I fit I fit an extra three items in this bag, which are quite big. However, it's freaking heavy. Like, oh, you wouldn't want to um, put this on your, your wrist or your crook of your arm for very long because my word, heavy. Like, oh, it doesn't have a, a shoulder duva, a shoulder thing like those key poles do. But I mean, you could get away with this if you had to, if it was super heavy. So that's sort of the comparison in terms of what you can fit inside. And obviously the opening is a little bit bigger than a 25 canvas, but not by a country mile. Getting in and out in terms of when this is this full, it's still quite easy to sort of move things and get around. There's actually still space in the bottom. Oh my God, there's a lot of space. 
So there could be, you could fit way more in because if you can see, I just took out the drink bottle only. This is all empty. That's all. It's <laughs> hard to show you. some shots later uh, when I've got time so I will cut to a few shots of me with these bags on just to show you the difference in how they hang on the body or how when you wear them what they look like and then you can see the difference in the bag strap it is a bit hard actually to get the if this is full getting my like bigger items out this one it's sort of a pain and then I imagine getting it back inside once it's empty semi empty if you don't have a bag organizer so that's the bag without the iPad and the agenda inside lots of space and I actually got this one I didn't take anything out of this by the way it's got stuff in it oh my gosh, it's so cute I think that's it Okay, so I was going to originally overlay this on the original footage, but I actually made a discovery while I was filming this, and that is that the speedy strap comes in two pieces. Woo! So you can basically have six, I think there's three holes on each strap. So technically you've got like a long version with three different holes. This is on the longest setting possible both are on the longest hole so there's two straps with three holes each now the speedy 25 literally just has one option and it's got i think four or five holes that's me and my boots yay uh fix my hair i do that a lot so i am just showing you now what it's like with both on the gosh i think it's actually the shortest yes so they're both on the shortest possible strap setting this is me showing you the gap between the handles now it's on my shoulder just to show you i'm 510 for reference and i've got a very long torso so when i put my hands uh, actually i can't be bothered explaining i've just got a long torso you <laughs> when i pile my hands on top of each other uh you can still see my belly button from my boobs anyway so i here i am taking off the one of the straps and making it shorter. So this is on the shortest hole possible. Yeah, so this is just without the extent extension on. This is what it looks like hanging from, you know, dangling. Now I'm putting it on the longest hole, just so you can see the difference. Yep, showing you there, good work. And yeah, I think I like that one. It looks a bit like intentional and then it's quite a nice little short shoulder bag which I'm actually really jealous of I think I need a new, a new speedy canvas OMG what have I done so don't know why I'm showing you this because it doesn't really matter because you can get different options so yeah I'm showing you the straps I've put it back on yes yeah, so I've got on the shortest hole now but I think one is not on the shortest I don't even know so just showing you the different lengths that you can get out of this one shoulder strap oh here we go I'm adjusting it back so it was on the longest I had one on the longest and one on the shortest now they're both on the shortest so I guess it really just depends on your body the length of your body and what you like 
in terms of the length of your shoulder strap and your crossbody situation. So here I am putting it on the very longest possible hole. It's a bit long, that's my butt. <laughs> Magic trick coming up. I have fresh hair. Woohoo! <laughs> and what am I doing now? I am putting it. No, I don't even know what I did there. Anyway, just showing you what it looks like. Lots of modeling poses. You can tell I did that for 10 years professionally, can't you? <laughs> anyway, loving myself sick. And okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching my comparison video on these two bags. Let me know if you have either of these or if you want, you know, hello Fluffy. If you want either of these bags and which one you would choose if you had to pick or do you have both and which one do you use the most i would love to know thanks for watching to the end of this video please check out the links above and on the screen for my other videos please like this video if it was of interest or gave you any further clarity or helped you out in making a decision if you enjoyed this video i'd love you to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video we will see you in my next video